I have been visiting this river in Thimphu for over 10 years. And every time I have been here, I have seen a deeper. So where better to come to Flim Wan? The deeper that occur in Bhutan are white-throated and brown deeper. The places to look for deeper is in fast-flowing rivers and streams in the woodland alongside plenty of rock to use as a perch. Deepers occupy territories along several hundreds of meters of the river land. So, walking alongside river is suitable and best way to find them. It is important to be quite patient and still to watch a deeper feeding. They feed by diving and swimming. Pigs insect larvae form the river bed between stones. A nice juicy meal. To get closer to deeper, I climb down to the river itself as you can see. I'm hiding behind this rock and I'm quite close. You can see the deeper bobbing up and down doing the dipping motion that gives its name deeper. It does this to blend in with the movement of the water around it. Brown Dipper is an aquatic songbird found on the mountains of Southern and Central Asia. The species of Dipper is rarely seen that can be found at medium to high altitude along the fast-flowing mountain streams of clear, high oxygenity and cold rivers. We film these brown dippers in Thimphu, Wangchu River Basin. This clear mountain river is home to one of the most unique birds. On first glance, you are not likely to be impressed by this small grab gray bird. But spend a few moments watching and you will be rewarded. Deeper are one of the most integrating habits.
These are the first sequence ever filmed in 4K high resolution from Bhutan. This rare and exciting bird is seen rarely from close quarter, despite its being greatly sought after by avid bird watcher and naturalist. The brand of his ability to dive and swim underwater in the fast flowing streams and river is unique among passers right. They peep underwater and then guide them to hunt and to feed on ethnic organism living in the river bed. No other bird can swim in such a cold and rapid moving water. The bird's feather have an oily coating to prevent them leaching and moisture and at the same time acting as a layer of insulation from the cold. A lone pair often hunt large stretch of streams, aggressively fighting off territorial intrusions from other deeper from up and down stream. It doesn't mind other bird species hunting within its territorial water and seems to coexist with the little foxtail and other permanent fixtures among the fast flowing mountain terrains of thermal air. Most birds flee the winter of northern Bhutan to lower altitude. The white-throated dipper usually home above 3,000 meters at descent below 3,000 meters. A pair of dipper seen along the Wanchu River Basin to avoid harsh and cold winter in the high altitude, where it is mostly covered with snow and frozen steam. Although Timbu's temperature in winter drop to minus in midnight, but as long as there is running water, the dipper will stay. It might not look like it, but it's extraordinary diver. It's rarely boring great day, one of the worst day of this year, just above zero degrees Celsius. Not much is happening along the river. The winter provides very little food for all wildlife here, but in the river, a rich larva is serving every day. and those who feed under the surface. Life is perhaps easier, but the one that can make a day like this even better, it's a fatty juicy lava. In the spring, dipper begin to nest usually near mountain streams or behind the waterfall. Both the parents helps to build the nest, which is made mostly of moises. It takes them over a week to build a nest. Working 14 hours in a day once the nest is finished, the female leave her eggs. Once the chick hatch, the parents again work for dawn to dust. They spend most of their time collecting insects but also carrying the chick's waste away from the nest. <laughs> 